Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about the K-Armed Bandit problem. K-Armed Bandit. So K-Armed Bandit, which is a term I really don't like, and a concept I really do like. Because it explains a lot of uh, important reinforcement learning concepts, and I can choose to use some of the terminology. I'll, I'll use uh, a little bit of it to uh, basically allude to the next parts where I'm going to start to use the proper notation, or at least the, the notation chosen in the book, and uh, the terminology that's used widely in reinforcement learning. Okay, so to first break down this term, we, uh, well, let's let's look at its pieces. So we have k. Well, that's a, that's a number, and in fact, it's actually going to be an integer greater than zero. It's going to be one, two, three. And to break down the bandit part, well, that actually is just referring to a swap machine. A swap machine. It's like a, it's a bandit, it's a slot machine, it takes your money, it's a, it's a thief. And the armed part is just basically levers, okay? So levers of the slot machine. And so when they say this term, when they say k-armed bandit, or when someone says k-armed bandit, basically what they mean is a slot machine, a slot machine with k levers. Okay, so let's set, uh, let's set k equal to 3 and draw this example. So k equals 3, armed bandit. This is an example. Okay, let me center that. Alright, so let's just draw a little picture to understand what's going on. So basically here is you. So you're, the, you're this nice stick figure. You're gorgeous. And what you do is you, you put your... <laughs> this is your hand, I guess. Um, so you put your debit card into this machine over here. Okay, and this machine is the bandit, the, the environment in this example. It's a slot machine, which has these three different levers. So I'll have red. So it has lever A. It has lever B. And it has lever C. So you basically, like, you, you, you pull down like this, you pull down on a handle, and that's going to return some value, like some, some maybe three dollars, negative two dollars. So you put your 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 debit card into this thing, and it's just going to automatically take money off of your card, and like give you a negative value, uh, do nothing, give you zero dollars, or add money to your card. Okay, no matter which bandit or which which arm you pull, which lever you pull. Okay, so if I was to zoom in on these three things. So I'm just going to keep the picture here so I can see the colors. And then we're going to move down here. Sorry, let's see. Okay, so here's the levers A, B, and C. So the the goal of this uh, this problem is that basically you're faced with this machine and you're trying to get the most money possible. And so we're okay with losing some money. We're not saying you have like a th uh, $100 on your card. And if you go below that, then you're screwed. No, we're actually going to say you have an infinite uh, amount of money. You can lose whatever you want. We're just trying to get the most possible uh, at the end. And so that just means figuring out what the best thing to do is and then, you know, do, doing whatever you think is best. So let's try and think about how you would go about finding that best option. Well, right now we know nothing about these levers. And in this problem, you, you really don't. You're faced with, you, you know the number of levers you have. You have A, B, and C, you have three, except we know nothing about them. So to get a taste for it, let's just, uh, let's, let's pull these levers. Say that I pulled lever A and I got a reward. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my track of my rewards here. And uh, that's one column. And so say the first time I pulled lever A, I got, uh, I got I lost two dollars. Okay, well, that wasn't good. So let's try let's try B. Well, I got four dollars. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's try it again. This time I got negative eight dollars. Okay, so so they're random. They're not gonna output the same thing every time. So we might have to take a lot of swings at this to try and figure out what's actually going on. Let's try C. We got uh, five the first time, maybe. Let's try C again. We lost seven. Let's try uh, let's try A again. It's been a while since we got that. 
we got four and okay so great we, we we now have an idea as to what's going on except we have no way right now of saying okay which which lever do we think is best well one way to do that is to keep track of the average okay so basically let's uh, let's let's look at the average reward for each of the levers okay average for a average for b and average for c well after the first reward we only had one reward and so our average is simply negative two over one which is negative two after our second reward we could we have our average of negative two plus four negative two plus four divided by two which is equal to two over two which is one okay then for blue at first we had four then we had i'm not going to show the math now it's it's an average over all the rewards that we've we've taken for this lever so we have negative eight plus four over two is negative four over two which is negative two and here we'd have at first five and then we'd have five minus seven over two that'd be negative two over two which is negative one all right so we can keep track of our average reward for all of these different uh, levers over time. So I could keep sampling from these things. Uh, I, I, could, I could get five over here and we could compute our average would be negative two plus four plus five. So nine minus two is seven over three. Seven over three, which is a little bit over two. I guess it's what, 2.3 and then we could do this for blue, so then maybe we got we got seven, and then we got uh, four plus seven is eleven, minus eight is three, divided by three is going to be an average of one, and so on and so on. We could keep computing these averages, uh, but we don't have an algorithm for actually, you know, you know what's best. Well, I mean, there's a couple things we could do. We could keep taking what what has the highest average. But at whatever time, at whatever lever has the highest expected, and I'm going to use the word expected value, expected reward, or average reward, then that would be the best lever to take, I guess. That's one algorithm. That would be called the complete greedy algorithm. We're behaving greedily with respect to the average. We're always choosing the best option at whatever time. Um, we'll talk about that algorithm later, but for now, one algorithm that would solve this problem as is uh, is just simply try each lever a thousand times and that's going to give you an average for each of them that's you're pretty confident with because you have tried it each a thousand times and that's you know if you tried it in a thousand each in a, in a thousand and one time then that next thing that next average compared to the a thousandth time it would be barely different like it a averages you're, you're going to start to actually center in on the true average of the, the the underlying probability distribution for the rewards okay and if you know that at least you're pretty confident of that for each lever then what you can just do is take the best uh the best one you could behave greedily really from from there on okay and so say that we tried each a thousand times, dot, 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 dot. You would have maybe say our, our last one, we'd have an average of one for this. We'd have an average of two for this. And we'd have an average of say negative three for this. Well then one algorithm for now to solve this problem is just to say, okay, we've tried each a thousand times take whichever uh, action, pull whichever lever we think is uh, going to give us the best result. We think it's going to be B because that is 2 compared to 1 and negative 3. So here's here's our answer is just to try B forever often afterwards. So we tried each a thousand times, we, we, we figured out which had the best average, and we just keep on taking it because we should be pretty confident at this point that this is the right one. We'll talk later in the, uh, the next video about maybe why this isn't the best approach, 
but for now, it's going to solve the problem. And this introduces the main concept of reinforcement learning, which is figuring out these action values, to use this term, action value. In this case, it's, it's a lever. It's just saying, you know, our possible options. We're trying to figure out these action values, or the, the, the average of what we're going to get when we do these actions. That's all of what reinforcement learning is about. It obviously gets more complicated than this, but this is the main idea. So thank you. This was the K-armed bandit problem. Those are the, the main points, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.